The probability that a student passes a driving test is 5 over 24. Suppose 168 randomly selected students take a driving test in a day. How many would be expected to pass? Well, let's, let's try an easier question. There's 168 and there's 5 over 24. That's the, they, they seem like a challenging numbers in some way that it's not super easy to think about. Let's imagine that we have a slightly different question to this. Let's imagine that the probability of a student passing a driving test is half. And let's imagine 100 randomly selected students take a driving test. So we'll say 100 students. So what we're doing is we're breaking a problem down. If we didn't know how to do the problem, we can always break it down using simpler numbers. And that, that can often show us how we, we could attack this problem. So if the probability of a student passing, so we'll say probability of a student passing, probability of a student passing is half, and there are 100 students that sit the test, how many do you think would pass out of these 100 students? Well, you're probably thinking probably about 50. That would be a, a good expected, um, expected number of students to pass. Uh, if, if each student has a one in two chance of passing and there are 100 students, we'd, ex we'd expect probably on average 50 would fail and 50 would pass the test. Now, how did we get to that number? Well, in our heads, what we did is we multiplied a half by 100. And a half by 100 is 50. So that's what we did to solve this problem. And we're going to take exactly the same approach to this problem. So here we've got the probability of passing, probability of passing is 5 over 24. And there are 168 students. 168 students. So what we'll do is we'll multiply it 5 over 24 by 168. This is a proportion. This is simply saying that, you know, of these 168 students, 5 over 24th of them we'll expect to pass. So let's figure this out. This would be 5 times 168 over 24. Well, what's, what's an obvious factor here? Clearly 2. We've got a, a common factor in the, numerator, in the numerator and the denominator of 2. So we can reduce this to 5 times what's half 168, uh, 84 over 12. Ah, and there's, once we've simplified that, there's another common factor. 7 times 12 is 84, so we're going to have 5 times 7. This is going to reduce to, and that's 35. So we're going to expect, how many students would be expected to pass? We're going to expect 35 students to pass the test.